Hi, this is a demonstration of Elasticsearch machine learning module on a single matrix job. Uh, so for this demonstration, I'll be using the CentOS 7 release and uh, Elasticsearch version 5.6.2. Okay, 5.6.2. So the example which I'm taking is from the GitHub uh, machine learning getting started examples in server metrics. So here uh, we have a server matrix of about uh, three servers and six apps. We can download the data set with this URL and then uh, unzip it. We can ingest this particular data with the script ingest.sh which is available here itself. Let's see how the script looks like. So uh, we can <coughs> define the host and port if it is not uh, the default version, the username and password and if there is any index with the particular uh, name server.matrix it will delete. Then uh, we are just hitting it to one shards with no replicas and uh, these are the mapping of the data set what is whatever is present and there are four files with uh, which are in JSON format of the server matrix. This will do a bulk upload of the data and then uh, it will create a index of server hyphen star in Kibana. So this is what the script does which is available. So what I have done is I have all these things here. So I'm just running this particular script with all the uh, four JSON files which I have unzipped from this particular tar zip file. So this has started. Uh, this will take uh, more than 10 minutes. So I'm just pausing the video and once it is ingested, I'll just resume it. Thanks. Yeah, now all the JSON files are uploaded. So let's go to Kibana and uh, see if the indices are created so we are here we have an index server matrix and uh, close to 9 lakh records with uh, 111 MB so let's go to machine learning so here I'll be creating a job of a single matrix so we already have a index server I'll be choosing that and uh, these are the aggregations and fields so before that we'll just check what are the fields which are there in this particular index so that we will know what uh, aggregations to make so i'm just uh, looking at the fields so here the uh, index name is server matrix and this is the uh, server matrix wherein we have the accept and denies so this is the number of accepts and this is the number of denies and uh, we have a host so how many hosts we have around three host uh, four hosts and uh, what is the response time of the uh, hits and denies and uh, which application there are six applications so which application uh, is using and the total total of the accepts and denies. So these are the fields which we have in this particular index. So depending on that we have to create uh, the machine learning job which will help us to see some an, uh, analytics in this particular log set. So here uh, what I'll do is I'll see the max of the response first as one uh, use case. So here I'm using the full data server okay so here with this graph we can see that there is a spike here visible spike I'm just doing a max of the response timings with the span bucket of five minutes and I'm using the full data set so I'll just uh, create this particular job single max response <laughs> and I'll just create this job when I create this job the machine learning starts to <coughs> learn from the data and then it will show if there is any anomaly so here uh, we are using uh, unsupervised learning wherein we don't have any test and train data sets it 
learns on the um, unsupervised method of machine learning so i'll just click this particular create job and you can see how machine learning learns so here if you see this particular blue line shaded along the uh, graph traverses and uh, it learns and uh, as it goes so here we can see some red line wait it sees like an anomaly so i'll just click on this view results and uh, see so here i can increase the time frame and see the whole data set and uh, for better visibility what i can do is i can just stick down to the particular area wherever it is it has an anomaly so this is the anomaly which we see here and uh, depending on what we see we can see certain things like what is the is it a critical major a minor or a warning type of uh, alert and uh, what is the actual what should be the typical and what is the probability of uh, getting the same so this is how the machine learning uh, module works and uh, we can we can do much uh, for example now i have done a max of response time so i can create one more uh, single matrix job where uh, i can see the max of uh, the total counts for example i just saw response so accept and deny the addition will be total so i can see the total set so here also we have a graph so we can just name this as single max and uh, total and i'll create a job so we can see that as the the shaded blue line traverses along the graph it learns and uh, it finds some anomalies here i'll just uh, look at the view section and i'll just increase the time frame and here we can uh, see that there are anomalies uh, which will give some uh, insights so here it's very difficult to see that uh, with one particular uh, single matrix job to uh, to see where is the anomaly it is very difficult because here uh, we can just see the um, max response that something has gone wrong but what what caused this particular anomaly we are yet to see so the, this is the anomaly explorer this shows the full uh, this is the total uh, timeline and this is the single response whatever we created so in the multi matrix view we can have two or more uh, influences which you think might cause this type of anomaly and uh, we can see more details in the single matrix job so thanks for watching this video